100 Days in Red Dead Redemption 2. A game by itself is a masterpiece and has won multiple awards. The game award goes to Red Dead Redemption 2. But I created an even better version of it. A realistic version. Through modding, I made this game as realistic as possible by adding jobs, viable properties, and you can even go gold panning. But I'm not just relaxing for the next 100 days. I have a list of questions that need to be answered. Question number one. Can I become the most richest cowboy in the entire country? Legally. Question number two. Can I buy the most expensive property in the entire country? Again, legally. All in the next 100 days? Well, we're gonna have to start all the way at day one. On day one, I spawned by a nice big mountain. And as you can see, I'm starting with the bare essentials, which is just a lasso, a knife, and my bare fists. And I also have no money, which means we are a very long way from our $18,000 dream home. But I was quickly met with my first huge problem on day one. Oh my god. Yeah, I am filthy. <laughs> Luckily, there was a town close by, so let me present to you our first town we will visit over the next 100 days, Valentine. I saw some men fighting outside of a saloon as soon as I got into town, and let me just say, whatever they were going through, it was pretty rough. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll have another drink, and then go see your wife. Oh my god. But I quickly got a warm welcome to the town because there was a very nice man in a local general store. And his name was Greg. He actually let me know that they were hiring across the street. And if you don't believe me, well, listen to what he said. There is a job at the bar. I'm sure you will get it. I like your voice. Everyone should subscribe to you. Now, jobs are going to be very important. In fact, there are multiple jobs now scattered across the entire map. So as long as I work hard, I should be able to get to my goal in time pretty quickly. Right? All right, well, let's apply for this job here. All right, my friends, we just got our first job, cleaning tables. I won't lie, there's something really satisfying about washing tables in a video game. It's like following street rules in Grand Theft Auto. It's just fun and honestly, a little nostalgic. Oh my God, guys, it's time for our first paycheck. $36. Okay, that's actually a lot more than I thought I was gonna get. And you won't believe what my first big purchase was. A bath. I was filthy, I needed it, okay? On day two, I took the day off work, and I actually, I watched a movie. And honestly, I was really interested in the level of detail, not just in the movie, but in the guy that was helping the movie go. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was just really cool. On day three, I thought I needed to step up my game. I officially needed a horse. The cheapest horse I can buy is $150. So a day or two of working should make me enough money to get it. However, just as I was about to go to oh, work- Oh my god, I don't want to break the law. No, oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Sheriff, please help me. Sheriff, Sheriff, why are you not doing anything? <laughs> why is he not doing anything? Uh, Sheriff! On day four, I lost all my money from the doctor's bill, so I took a job riding a horse to a specific location. And again, I almost died from gang members. This time, they were taking over a bridge. Okay, this is like the second day in a row I've had gang issues. All right, don't worry, I'm getting off the bridge, jeez. I got paid pretty well for my trip, and I did some more cleaning of the tables, but I officially have enough money for my first horse. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you, Baxter. Now, I didn't know that this horse was a girl, so I probably would have given it a different name, but hey, I think Baxter fits, and hey, I'm not one to judge. I think it's pretty cool. I decided to take a bounty job now that I have Baxter, and well, Oh my goodness, I've already given you back your bounty guy. Please leave me alone. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Follow me down here. You know what? Get off the horse. Okay. Right. Run, horse! Oh my- Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. On day six, I lost all my money again. This is becoming a consistent theme. But I'm close to another town this time, which means more opportunity. Welcome, my friends, to Blackwater. I'm doing my best to stay away from them. But before I get comfortable, I need to do something extraordinarily important. Bath time! I think I'm just gonna make this a tradition now for each town I visit from here on out, just because I feel like it's the right thing to do. On day 10, I decided to work on another job. This time, it was gold panning. To keep this simple, gold panning is basically where you grab a bucket of water and you put it in a machine and you hope to find some gold. And hey, if I do this enough, I should be able to get enough gold to purchase my dream home of $18,000. And on my first attempt, wait, no, I actually got gold? 
Okay, that's actually that's actually kind of rare. It's like it's pretty crazy actually that I got that. But that was not a sign of things to come because the rest of the day I just found rock after rock. Okay, now I have no luck anymore. <laughs> I found out that my gold nugget was only really worth 25 bucks, but for the time period, that's actually a lot of money, and it's also better than the $2 that I'm currently working with. Took my money, got a room, and I called it a day for day 10. The next morning on day 11, I woke up to a game of blackjack. Now, blackjack is actually the only real card game I know a little bit about, and these are basically the simple rules. Blackjack, also known as 21, is a beloved card game where players aim to beat the dealer with the hand most closest total points to 21. While it mainly is a game of luck and chance, it still kind of has a little bit of skill. So basically, you just want to get 21 points total in your cards. That's that's the best way I can explain it, honestly. And this is basically how it Bart. went for me. You got too many there. A 20. <laughs> Damn you! So yeah, nothing like losing eight bucks when you wake up. Great. Anyway, I went back to gold panning, and honestly, I was actually getting some pretty good luck. Oh my gosh, is this a, a silver tooth? I got not one, or two, but three silver teeth, and a gold nugget. Okay, I I'm on fire right now. I, I have so much luck, I'm gonna have so much money. And I quickly went back to the general store to collect some cash, and I found out that the silver tooth is only worth 70 cents. So I sold my gold nuggets and the silver tooth, and I got some money, but it wasn't what I was expecting. On day 12, I had to say goodbye to Blackwater, because really, there was nothing to do there. There was no jobs, there wasn't really any big opportunities. And on my way out, I saw a homeless man, and I felt generous, and I gave him a dollar, and I'm really starting to buy into this whole good guy thing. I think it'll pay off at some point. Afterwards, I officially entered my third town. Let me present to you the town of Strawberry. And again, the first thing you have to do is bath time. This might be actually the coziest bath so far. I'm gonna have to give it a 4.1 out of 6 stars. Don't judge my rating system. On day 13, I took a huge step in my courage, and I helped a boy find his dog. But I'll be honest, I'm struggling to get money, so I kind of selfishly thought that if I helped him, he would get me some money after, so though my motives are a little corrupt, I think it'll be okay. I spent a lot of the day looking for this dog, and eventually, I found her. Come here, girl. And honestly, I won't lie to you. Something about seeing this dog reconnect with his owner was starting to feel a little bit too real for me, and I actually got a little teary-eyed, believe it or not. I mean, seriously. Thank you, thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. On day 14, things got really real as I was met with my first temptation. I looked under the general store and I saw something mysterious. I decided to go out exploring with Baxter instead. However, the only way to get to this specific spot would be to rob the general store, and not only do I not have any weapons, that's just not the type of person I am. And you won't believe this, I found the most mysterious note possible. Dear reader, you are over 8 minutes into this video. You should just subscribe. Well, I can't say I disagree. I gathered up some food by running over some animals. And I also ran over a person. Why did he literally went right in front of me? I am, I am not counting that. That I did not break a law. Luckily no one found out, so I was able to sell the dead animals for a small profit. At this point, it feels pretty pointless to give you guys a house update because we are so far from our goal. On day 15, I decided to say goodbye to Strawberry, because like Blackwater, it really didn't have a whole lot of opportunity. And I realized the one thing I haven't done yet is go fishing. So I decided to take a little break from this whole making a bunch of money thing and clear my head and went to a beautiful fishing place. This was actually a nice getaway from the towns because I forget, with games like this, you can go into the woods for days, completely not seeing anybody but wildlife. And it was a really nice change in pace. What do we get, what do we get? Oh, that's so awesome. Throw her back. On day 16 though, it was time to get back to business. So I took action and I caught myself a deer to start the day off. Come here, come here. Almost got you, almost got you. Oh my gosh, this will be our first deer. Thank goodness, I needed this. And for the first time, I actually saw some real conflict. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna try to save this guy. 
I know I, I might not want to intervene, but I'm going to. Because this could this could mean big time stuff in my morale. Let's go, let's go. Ooh. Oh no, I don't think I got him in time. No, 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 no. Run him over. Run her over, girl. Good job. I guess getting involved did pay off, because I got my first real weapon. And I'll be real, I got a little too confident. But you wanna start some? Yeah. I got a gun now. You wanna try to start some? I'll feel you dead. Okay, alright, you got good. it. Calm you got down. it. You got it. Eventually I made it to the fourth town. Let me present to you the town of Rhodes. I sold my deer for some cash, and you might have guessed it, bath time! This bath was a little bit more secluded, nothing crazy. I'll give it a 3.5 out of 6. On day 17, it was my first full day in the town, and I'll be real, this town is slightly weird when it comes to the vibe to it. Hey now! You're gonna leave here, you got me? Just oh. calm down. I want you gone! Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. You don't leave, I'll make you leave. That's simple. Guess you want a piece! All right. What? Oh, come on. Everyone's leaving? On day 18, I was lucky enough that they still let me be a local woodcutter. But again, it's been 17 days before this, and I still don't have much money. And I need to change that in the coming days. Six now and all that working for all those days got me a total number of four hundred and ninety four dollars Yeah, I'm still not very close to this house I don't this is becoming a dream at this point and it's not really becoming a reality So there is a bank that I have been riding past each day and honestly I think you might get the idea of what I'm about to do I'm now a quarter of a way through this challenge and I'm running out of time and I don't really think I have a choice But to pull this off. I need a new look a criminal look. Let me present to you the new criminal look. So long. Oh, sorry, let me... I went a little too fast. Let me come back out and then we'll do it again. Let me present to you the new criminal look. Oh yeah. I went to the gunsmith, got a gun, and it was time.
I stayed in the house for a few days to let the tension die down. It's now day 30. Now that I'm a criminal, I feel like I don't have anything to lose. And I just remembered one thing. Not so fast. Basement. I want to see what you got cooking down there. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Be the judge of that. Show me where the money is. I ain't gonna ask you twice. Okay! Okay! D don't point that at me! Uh, th th there's a loose brick in the wall by the still. That's better. It's now day 50. I'm a complete criminal, and I've been hiding in the woods for a couple days, I don't even know. I don't really recognize myself at this point, and honestly, I think I need a fresh start. So let me welcome you to the city of Saint Denis. <laughs> First, yeah, this weirdly doesn't feel right. I'll give it a 2 out of 6 stars, just, I don't know, doesn't feel right. On day 51, I got my first job in the city, and well, what do you know, I'm back to washing tables. After work, I did the right thing and I paid off my bounties. On day 52, I picked up a job taking a horse to another location, and well... Is that no good who took our weapons? Got arrested for the first time, and I started doing some real uncharacteristic things. See, I've now lost all of my money, and it's clear that all these old habits I did, they're not going to go away. So I have my eyes set on one thing, and one thing only. The Bank of St. Denis. Alright, there she is. Just a few seconds away from becoming rich. Hey, no covering of faces in this here bank.
Baxter, where you at, girl? Baxter! Come on, girl. Oh, there you are, girl. Okay. You ready, girl? Let's get out of here. Almost there. Girl, I got you. Get away. Sorry, girl. I spent the rest of the remaining days upgrading my house, going for a walk, even went fishing. But right then and there, it hit me. We play games like these because it gives us so much freedom. And I make YouTube videos because it's the only thing that gives me creative freedom. And I absolutely love it. And I guess ultimately, any game like this will bring out the good and bad out of you. But at the end of the day, no matter what anybody says, Sometimes, it's more than just a game.